Okay, so by now, everyone has figured out the Wii mode is actually a Bluetooth device, so that, you know, maybe we could actually plug it into a computer and see what it does. So, some people started messing with it, and um, they figured out how to get the information from the buttons and from the motion sensors from it. Um, we're still working on the sensor bar measurements, but that'll come later. For now, I've had this little graph here. I've been mucking with a math library, and I've gotten the Wii mode to actually plot onto the screen the acceleration values. And here you can see actually that that's one red line, which is the vertical measurement, which is higher because of gravity. And uh, two bars, which you can't tell very well right now, are the other two axes. And right now, right now the remote is completely still, sitting on the table. So now I'm going to turn it on its side and see what changes we have to the values. Now, as you can see, the red value's gone down, the blue value's gone up, green stays the same. We can keep changing the orientation, and it'll change the values. Now you can see it's the green value that's actually lower. Now the fun part comes when we actually mess with the Wiimote in different ways. As you can see, it's currently picking up as I'm moving it. It's going to measure the acceleration in all values, so as I go down, it's going to have a little spike in there. Tilt is measured by comparing all the acceleration values because there's always a constant acceleration due to gravity that's being measured even if the remote is completely still. So by tilting the remote, values will change appropriately. Another fun thing comes is if we actually let the remote fall down, then gravity will not affect it. So it will go from being completely different in one axis to being exactly the same for a split second until it falls down. I'm going to do it higher this time. Oops, I'm screen saver. Okay. You can definitely see for a split second right there all the values are exactly equal, the remote is not measuring any acceleration at all on any axis. So, that's pretty much all for now. And that's the remote. That's the acceleration values, and let's hope we can measure. With, uh, we can mess with the pointer functionality soon enough, because it'll be pretty cool if we can use it to point at an actual screen as if it were a mouse. Anyway, that's all, folks.